Good afternoon, everybody. It is 1.31. It is finally sunshiny outside. It reached 54 degrees so far at 1.30, um, which was, it feels a lot better than it has been, even though we're fixing to get really, really cold this week. Um, oh, I've been up. I, I'm so used to having to wake my better half up every, every morning. It's I'm not used to sleeping in, so I, I've been up since 5 o'clock. My feet still to this, this video are ice cold and tingly. I can't seem to get the tingly, numb, prickly feeling out of it. And my right hand, definitely my right hand. It's not my whole arm, it's just my hand um, today. It's just one of those days. I was, um, also I was looking through all my news and everything and got me a little upset. I don't know if you guys have seen it on the news about the cyclist, the bicyclist who bicycles to work, who got fired from shooting a bird at the Trump caravan. And, and that, that's, that's not what upsets me. What upsets me is the America has donated 70 plus thousand dollars to this woman because she lost her job over shooting a bird at the caravan for the president. That's to me that's saddening because why can't we get that kind of funding? She gets it for shooting a bird or a, a, you know a, a remark to the president's caravan but we can't get funding to help fund uh, to help find us a better medication and better cure on top of uh, uh, no LLMDs are insurance Qual they don't cover insurance and we have to pay out of our pocket and our all our antibiotics and our medicines are all out of pocket but yet this woman shows a hand gesture to the president's caravan gets fired and the world has sent her 70 plus thousand dollars for doing this but yet we can't get no funds whatsoever to help us become part of normal human civilization and day in and day out life not only that i have a friend through facebook and um he had his dog at the vet normal vet checkup and he sits down he has Lyme disease and he didn't realize it until he looked behind him and right behind him is a sign have you had your dog uh, vaccinated for Lyme disease and it's like it really upset him and it upset me that they have these warning signs at vets veterinarians have you had your animal you know had their vaccination to to prevent Lyme disease but yet they're worried more about canines and if you even get on Google you've got to defy if you're talking about an animal or a human when it comes to Lyme disease uh, a lot of our co-infections you've got to go for humans otherwise it'll pop up all the canine treatments but and then when you go humans it's just a little bitty speck of information but tons and tons of information for the canine society for, but yeah that that upset him and it upset a lot of us that you know you've got this have you vaccinated and prevented your animal from catching Lyme disease and co-infections but yet there's still nothing out here for humans I mean they used to be but it worked for a lot of people and it didn't work for others um also, I was looking at the news of where um, <laughs> they're making, um, uh, what do you call it, artificial intelligence is starting to take over, you know, they're doing, they're, they're spending more of our government money in the <sighs> artificial, uh, you know, artificial intelligence, the AIs, than they are trying to save America, Americans, blood you know true breathing bleeding dying everyday people instead of these animatronics that'll never die i mean have you not watched the movie ai will smith come on catch up but i don't know a lot so i 
I feel a little depressed today, to be honest. I woke up, not feel, um, I was feeling fine, but my feet, mind you, I don't know, I just feel depressed today. And not a sad, wish I was dead depressed. I just feel in a, ugh, not a sick, not a feel good, just in a, I feel like I'm walking in a, through blankets and I can't see that's ha blankets that are hanging up on the line outside and I can't see through them I can't see to the other side mm. I just feel I don't know a little depressed today and then maybe because I just took my my Zoloft uh, maybe yeah an hour ago I just took my Zoloft so, I mean, I may feel better in the afternoon and not feel so glum and gloomy and depressed or sad. And that may be because my better half is gone now <laughs> six days out of the week. And I only have him a day and a half to two days now. So, I mean, that may be a reason. Not only that, I, I think it's, I, I mean, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm happy where I moved to. I think my problem is, is I've got still so much to do. I still have so much, like as you see right here, touch up, paint to get off the walls. And then I still got my bathroom to paint and my wash, my washing and dryer section to, um, you know, to, to paint. And I mean, I still got to put a lock and latch on the front door and on the back door and I don't know today's just one of those uh, days where you just you don't know if you're happy or you're sad if you're really depressed or you just feeling just low today's a low day today's a real gloomy low day and I'm gonna I'm hoping the Zoloft kicks in and gets me out of this mood because I do not like being in this mood. Also did find out um, the doctor I switched to, Miss Sussman, that will be my original doctor for now on. Um, she is the one treating the other patient I told you about that has Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. So she's been in the business for 30 plus years. She's been there since the business started, so, I mean, and I did get along with her, um, or I could switch to my heart doctor, who's also a fam, I'm a nurse, I'm a family nurse practitioner, uh, you know, and all, all this other initials, or I could switch to him, or I could just keep him still as my um, heart doctor, heart and lung doctor, so, I mean, I don't know, I probably will stick with Miss Sussman since she's dealing with a young lady named, I think it was Dawn, if I'd, I'd have to look through my videos again, I think her name was Dawn, I'm not, I'm guessing here, um, so I may stay with her for now until I get my email, but yeah, today's a low, I don't know, I, like I said, I think it's because my Zoloft, I just took an hour ago, and it needs to kick in so I can get out of this feeling of gloom, I mean, it's fall, and it feels like winter, and we can't enjoy outside because it's too cold, and you get a little cabin fever, and especially when you just moved into a house, and like right now, even though I'm talking, I'm looking and going, oh, I got touch-up paint I got to do over there, and I got to do some over here, and I just got so much to do, and now it's like I'm living single, <laughs> and I'm not, but I am, so I don't know, just... Today's just one of those sad days, but hopefully wherever you're watching this video, you're a lot happier, a lot, may you have a pain-free day, may you enjoy the sunshine, because that's the only pretty thing today, is that sunshine, um, look for the silver lining, because if you don't, no one else will, God bless guys, bye.